Gana e, gana a, gana e, gana a, gana e, gana a, yes, so students of Obwasi Senior High Technology School in the Ashanti region of Ghana have done it again. This time around, they built an automated ballot box machine that can help prevent electoral malpractice in Africa. Lovelies, this one choco e choke. You're welcome to my channel. I'm Delicious Ami. Here I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff relating to them. Do all by liking the video. Do all by subscribing to the channel. Now, let me take you straight to Obwasi High Technology School in the Ashanti region of Ghana for you to watch and see what the students of this school have, you know, manufactured. Let's go there. So this ballot box helps in solving the cases of multiple voting. Like during election, someone can cast in two or more ballot sheets. But maybe you wouldn't know, since there'll be no indication that... The text voting in two or three or six. Yes, but this one has an alarm in The alarm sounds immediately a ballot sheet is casted inside. To note whether a person has casted in one or more yeah, ballot sheet. And we also have rollers here. The rollers are made in such a way that it cannot take in two or more ballot sheets. Wow. You heard from the students. You heard from them. How they talked about the electoral issues in Ghana, especially the 2020 election, and how it triggered them to bring out this technology. That's why I'm always screaming STEM school, STEM school, STEM school, STEM school here. When students are not only taught theory, but are now doing practical, this is what you see. Now, these students, uh, you know, told us how they thought about this machine, how it came up. But now, I want us to watch and hear what triggered them. What triggered them to think about this particular innovation. Let's listen to them. Especially when we heard what happened at Parliament House when the Parliamentarians couldn't even identify the number of papers they had in their ballot box. When we heard some minister grab the whole ballot box and took it away and they were having issues with knowing how many ballot boxes. So we decided to understand here the solution to solve that. So this is the problem. If the person takes it away, everybody knows how many ballot boxes we have in it. Yes, so that's the solution. So that's the solution. So that's the solution. It triggered new people. Yes, yes. To come up with a solution. Yes. To the extent that they are even calling other African countries, come and be a partaker of this technology. You see, if you're also an African country, I don't know which African country you're watching this from, right? If you see this innovation to be good and you think your government or your EC can adopt this project and then work it out, please get in touch with what is in your eye. We are just one people, it's Africa. You see, if this one doesn't work here in Ghana and it works in Botswana, it's perfect, we want it. Come and use this technology in your elections to prevent double voting. You all know in this part of the world, double voting is something that ah, you, you all know now, you know how it goes. But with this particular machine, these students have innovated, double voting will become a thing of the past. If only it will be used. The voting paper. And I show up and I have two of this. So it's like someone like this also comes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I have this one and I put it in. It's okay. Yes. Yes. So this day on the display and what? Yes. Yes. So this is all. If I put it two, I can put it. Yes. And I just want to put two of this and I put it in there. It's all show two. No. It won't enter. It won't even enter the ballot box. So ah. Yes. The day you are buying it, it won't enter. Like this, you want to do it maybe one by one. It will sound that I want to indicate that you have made it more than two. In the elections. In fact, I was blown away when I saw this. This is the first ever in Africa and it's coming from Obwasi Senior High Technology School. And I must say, I'm proud of what STEM school has turned the Ghanaian student into. They are no longer in the classrooms waiting to learn, they are now manufacturers of technologies. They are now exporting technology from Ghana to the world. The Malawi government have contacted the school and, you know, told them that they would like to, you know, come check it out to know if they can use it in their elections. But, you know, with what we just watched, it's obvious that they will not be using it in the recent Ghanaian election, which is next month. But let us watch and know why this technology will not be used in the recent Ghanaian election. Right. They heard about it and, and they came here. They didn't come here. I think they were giving some information mm. that they wanted to have a look at it and then take it to KMST so that they will examine it and see how it's mm. and how it can work. They said they not um, heard anything from them. Like everybody went to see yes, <laughs> See, I'm, I'm blown away. This one, I give it to the Ghanaian educational system. I'm blown away. This is this is beyond. This is beyond magnificent. This is beautiful. This is innovation. This is what we want from our students. 
The government is putting in so much in education and now our students are not just, you know, taking those knowledge in and dumping it. They are now putting it into practice to the extent that the Ghanaian students are the first to build. And this is not the first time they are doing this. So they did something similar in 2021. I'll be putting the picture on the screen and now they're doing it again in 2024. It's now led for the Ghanaian government to take it up so that things like double voting, electoral malpractice can stop. You all know, uh, I mean, this part of the world, it's a normal thing. There's a particular country that needs this technology. I don't know that country, but I know that there's one country that needs this technology because their last election, hey, hey, the numbers of people in the state and the result that was called, totally different. <laughs> Have you seen where the numbers of voters is more than the numbers of people in the state. Have you seen it before? It happened in one country. It happened in one country. That country needs this technology. So any African country watching this, please come and patronize the student of Obasi Senior High Tech. They have brought out technology, a technology that Africa needs. This technology will change Africa and redirect it to the next level. Because you all know when you uh, elect leaders through the right way, when you elect um, you know, people through the right way, that is when they will do the right job. If somebody comes into, into power through the back door, they don't owe anything to the people. The only people they owe things to are those, or are those people that kept them in power. They don't have any business with you because it was not your vote that brought them in. But when the people elect somebody, when the people vote somebody in in numbers, and the person knows that, yes, it was the vote of the people that brought me to position, the person will be indebted to the people. The person will be indebted to what the people have to say. This is why technologies like this are needed. Hopefully, in the next Ghanaian election in 2028, this kind of technology will be used. And hopefully, this current election also, we will not hear you know many of those things because things like double voting you will just hear snatching of ballot boxes this one that one has been a major thing in uh, africans election lots of african countries are having these issues some people will just be targeting the ballot box once people are done putting their vote they'll carry the ballot box and that is it maybe when they hear that their party is winning in this particular place they will go and snatch ballot boxes in the areas where their party is losing just to shore up votes for their party and before you know it things will just start happening this one will happen that one will happen before you know it electoral violence comes in but with innovations like this these things like electoral violence electoral malpractice will become a thing of the past let's read um ghanian's reaction to this particular technology on the screen this commenter says there is still problem with the machine the machine must prevent the lady from putting the second ballot paper in the box. They should fix it. This one says the youth is the future. The other commenter says this is great work. We are growing as Africa is moving away from sitting all day in the class and writing exams into working on practical projects that scales into products. This is how we grow as a continent, building our own solutions. This one says, wow, we have such amazing students in Ghana. These children have solved what our EC and leaders cannot solve. They need support in all ways. Students continue in this way. Trust me, it is Ghana to the world. Yes, it is not even Ghana to Africa again. Because by the time the Ghanaian government feed on this technology, put in money in this project to to you know to, to bring it up, help them produce it in numbers, it will now be Ghana supplying the world electoral, you know, materials that can prevent electoral malpractice. Just imagine this this on the on, on the headline that ghana is now supplying the world electoral materials this will not only bring revenue to ghana it will boost the um, image of ghana to the world and also it will take the ghanaian educational system not just to ghana but to the world because it will now be ghanaian students going around the world you know doing exploits before you know it companies will start calling them in oh we need so so, so and so things and the way i see this girl she might end up with a scholarship. One American college will just see her and say, wow, we like this innovation. And we'll just call them, come, we're giving you scholarship. 
come we are giving you jobs this is the future generation that is why i always say a country where the masses are educated when i say educated good education that country will produce less minas. So feel free to drop your own opinions in the comment section. I'm Delicious Army. Yeah, I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff relating to them. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye-bye.